Boom, we're back. Yeah, so this lecture is about uh, Valentine's Day and uh, the inflection wave of uh, cryptocurrency. I think they're going to be uh, spiking everything up on Valentine's Day. You know, the Super Bowl's coming up. You know, Super Bowl's about to happen. All that stuff's revving up. You know, this reminds me of what happened with Vibecoin back in the day. There was this whole hype where it was like, oh, what's going to happen with Vibecoin? You know, uh, and I remember I had like, you know, 500 bucks or something on Vibecoin, you know, and uh, maybe I had 150 bucks on it and then it turned to like 500 bucks. And then, you know, right at the Super Bowl at halftime, they're supposed to play this Vibecoin uh, commercial and they never played it, I think, or something like that. And then the coin, you know, dropped. Maybe, you know, that 150 I had is like seven bucks now or something, you know. So it's like what's happened is three years in a row, you know, last year we predicted uh, as far as TTM uh, wave analysis, we predicted that uh, there's going to be a big drop on Valentine's Day. We made a video about that saying, you know, past two years in a row, there's been a big giant Valentine's Day drop. It's probably going to happen again. And it happened again last Valentine's Day. But now that the market is totally down, you know, uh, here at TTM Academy, you know, we're predicting uh, that the, uh, you know, spike is going to be happening tomorrow. You know, everything, you know, some some things have given us a little bit of a taste. You know, if you go with like Leash, you know, Doge Killer, you know, it had a big spike last week. You know, so a lot of the whales, the whales are all about to come back. And, you know, they, they like to go by, you know, migration and things like that because they're big giant whales dropping billions. So they took out billions and about they're about to drop back in billions and you know they're obviously probably going to be coming back into the ethereum market first because in some ways the fact that gas fees are so high it's actually keeping the ethereum market less volatile because a lot of people can't even get out of certain positions because the gas fees are so high it kind of locks their their coins up in there so you know given that i think uh you know as far as our analysis our wave analysis uh you know ttm notational uh you know, crypto wave analysis, it, it's basically clear that it's, you know, they're going to come probably B and B second, you know, they're going to splash into, uh, you know, the Ethereum market first and B and B second. So once again, shout out to Hyrule coin, cause you know, hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics Imperium walking by a, a KFC in a food desert, you know, but, uh, yeah, shout out to Hyrule Imperium, uh, you know, they got a BNB coin. Their, their coin's on the BNB blockchain. So I'm talking about blockchains for those that don't know. What I'm talking about, uh, the Ethereum blockchain, Ethereum-based coins, and then the BNB blockchain, the Binance Smart Chain uh, coins, you know, which are a lot cheaper. You know, you can, you know, buy and sell for a dollar or even just, you know, 50 cents, two dollars, you know, it's never more than a couple of dollars or less. You know, where Ethereum uh, blockchain can go from uh, anywhere from, you know, right now from like 30 bucks to, you know, 200 bucks, you know, really 50 bucks to 200 bucks, you know what I'm saying, to, to make any type of uh, coin uh, trade or anything like that. So, you know, the whales are definitely coming back very soon, you know, because they're greedy against each other, you know, they're looking at like, oh, well, this whale might get, get into that first, so I'm trying to get, on, you know. And I think some of these coin companies have the rapports with the whales, you know, um, where they, you know, let them do a little test run, you know. So our recommendations, uh, you know, shout out to the whole Joint Coin Minds Collective, you know, um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, theory and things like that. As far as uh, tokenomics, you know, I've learned through the Joint Coin, you know, collective. Uh, so, you know, uh, Joint Coin will be launching a wrap, top, wrap, wrap uh, uh, the wrap coin. I'm sorry, the wrap coin, because it's Join uh, Coin, JoinCO.in. You know what I'm saying? That's just a general website with the Metaverse, uh, you know, party house. You can, uh, you know, museum, gallery, you know, spot you could go to. So I'll put that link up and stuff. But uh, yeah, but the whales are coming back. So yeah, shout out to Mental Stamina, uh, you know, because he's 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 killing it in the metaverse. You know, uh, he's one of the 
illest rappers I know. You know, I did this track with him. It was like 12 people on the track, maybe 10 people on the track. You know, I've done a couple tracks, Big Posse Cuts, and he was on it. And he's always like, you know, murdering cats on tracks. You know what I'm saying? His, his flow is very, very unique. And he's about to drop his first album very soon. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, the whale's about to come back on Valentine's Day. The, you know, maybe it happens on Tuesday, maybe it's in a you know, couple of days. But, you know, this week is going to be that crazy up week, you know. But usually there's only one big spike a year, and that big spike usually happens in January. So when I was talking about inversing the polarity, they're going to be basically inversing the polarity on uh, what they normally do. You know, there's certain cycles, and, you know, it's like usually there's a big New Year's sell-off, and there's a big January spike. And then things keep spiking all the way into February till the big February drop. So that's what happened the past three years in a row. So obviously the, the opposite of that is most likely happening where, you know, they already did their sell-offs in December. But, they, but when people were thinking like, oh, everything's about to spike in January and people put in, you know, maybe just millions. Not necessarily the billionaires, you know, maybe the billionaires are, you know, uh, testing a couple of million they they found that it's better to uh you know trick them and basically they're they're selling everything and made it drop even lower so the you know the um, in january it just went even lower people thought january was going to be a spike because january is always a big spike up so everything's dropping lower so it's like and valentine's day was a 30 percent drop last year we predicted it you know using tt you know we've proven using ttm you know wave analysis we were able to predict that you know obviously there's going to be another drop there you know and it, and it happened, you know, but, uh, you know, after the, it was the third year in a row, you know what I'm saying? So now, you know, we got Valentine's Day coming up, Super Bowl, all this hype. They're going to be taking all this Super Bowl money, all this money. They took out the stock market from the stock market collapse and they're going to be dropping that into crypto, you know. And a lot of people say it might be like Chronicles of Riddick in the future where it's like crypto people and then everybody else, you know, crypto people flying around and spaceships and stuff you know and then everybody else you know like because see, seeing that there might be a whole nother uh kind of a cast of uh crypto people because uh you know that's where all the money's kind of going towards that you know it got up to like you know maybe uh what two trillion you know uh the market cap you know but now it's like back to like a, maybe a trillion you know maybe it was at 1.5 trillion you know but uh, you know that's that's pretty huge—a trillion dollars, more than a trillion dollars in uh, in, in the crypto market. So it's like they took out billions and billions, hundreds of billions, and they just got that. You know, they're about to bring that. You know, they took it out of the regular stock market too. When are they going to drop it? And you know, they Valentine's Day has always been up. I mean, always been down. So it's like it's, if you're trying to like fake people out, you know, what better way than just keep faking them out? You know and keep switching up the unexpected norms you know so if somebody has feeling there's a norm like hey you know i'm accustomed to this thanksgiving happens black black friday happens this and that they're accustomed to, to some type of norm they fake each other out in the stock market you know what i'm saying and in the crypto market they like you know they're, they're trying to fake people out so they sell out all their their coins and then they can buy back in super cheap you know but what billionaires do too is they don't just drop their whole load at once because then it's gonna they're, they're gonna drop stuff in, in partial you know segments and you can see certain coins they'll start to stack in kind of a staircase kind of a manner um and i'll show you a uh image of doge killer you know um at ttm academy uh you know uh we pretty much stop covering the regular stock market we pretty much just cover crypto stuff and and uh and that now but uh yeah, so, you know, a lot of times the billionaires, when they're, the whales, when they're bringing the money in, they're bringing in billions, you know, they're not just dropping a billion on a coin. They might just say, hey, I'm going to drop, let me, let me drop 20 million, let me drop 5 million, you know, let me drop a couple hundred thousand in different parts, you know, that's, that's what they're doing. And then you'll see the staircase go up where they're dropping because when they drop it and then people, if the price goes up and people start to sell off, then they can buy back in at a little bit lower of a rate that's why it doesn't make sense to just drop all their load at once because if they drop a bunch and then the price spikes up from their drop and then goes back down you know it's like elon got in uh, bitcoin i think at it like 41 when it was at 41k and i believe that his 1.5 billion on it 
uh, spiked it up to like 43k you know what i'm saying and you know so it's like he's he's made billions from it he's lost billions from it you know what i'm saying but uh you know um he actually warned us you know a lot of times when you see elon in the news that's when you know a big crypto wave is coming or a big drop is happening because he was warning us he was like don't put all your investments in crypto and i was thinking i was like that in, in may like on the big may 19th drop you know he was like don't put all your money in crypto like a week or two before that and uh you know then the big drop came the huge drop and and you know those that big spike was an unexpected spike in in april may because usually the spike always happens in january like i've been saying but now that the spike just happened twice last year, there was the January spike, the January, February spike that dipped on Valentine's Day. And then there was the April, May spike that just was like the original super huge spike from uh, early 2018 when the whole market had a super spike. And maybe we're going to be in a big lull for a while. You know, there might not be two spikes this year. You know, there's usually just one spike a year. But I think there is going to be at least one or two spikes this year. And I think this, this, this first spike is coming very soon. So uh, over at JoinCoin, there's, I think it's going to be a, a Super Bowl thing. So I'll post that, post that link. All right, peace.